This model is a representation of the microscopic structures found in compact bone. This area right here, right here is representing the compact bone, while this area here is representing the spongy bone. Notice that the compact bone is surrounded by a membrane known as the periosteal membrane, which must be attached by Sharpie's fibers or perforating fibers. These fibers are made up of a very important molecule known as collagen. The membrane that surrounds the spongy bone is known as the endosteal membrane. Now, the functional unit of bone is known as the ostean or haversian system. So this right here is one haversian system or ostean. So is this one and this one here and this one and this one as well. That's an entire haversian system or ostean just as this one is as well. Okay. Now, bone itself is made up of layers and these layers are known as lamella. This lamella has been pulled out in this model so you can see it better. So this lamella that is sticking out and that is closest to the periosteal membrane is known as the circumferential lamella, while the lamella found within the ostium are known as concentric lamella. Now, of course, this tissue must be maintained. It's a living tissue. It must have cells. So these tiny little structures that you see here that look like little ants are actually the osteocytes, which simply maintain the bone matrix. These osteocytes since they are in a hard matrix, must be lying within a depression within the bone. And these depressions are known as lacunae. You also will notice that there are tiny little legs that come off of these osteocytes, but actually these are processes of the cells. So there are these tiny little hair-like depressions within each Austin or Haversian system, these little lines that you see are actually known as canaliculi. The important function of the canaliculi is to allow for the, for the blood vessels that are carrying the blood here, is to allow the blood within the blood vessels to allow the nutrients to move from this area onto the osteocyte. So essentially, the nutrients are moving from a higher concentration within the blood vessel and therefore moving to a lower concentration. So via the canaliculi, the, each osteocyte can actually get nutrients. Very, very important. Um, one important, another important uh, structure that I want you guys to remember are the canals that run horizontally. These canals are known as perforating canals or Volksmann's canals. And notice that they are connected vertically now with what? Well, perpendicular, actually. Uh, connected with a central uh, canal or haversian canal. And let's see, is there anything else? Uh, one interesting thing to note is you can see the orientation of these lines is actually representing the orientation of collagen that makes up the bone. So you see that the lines are going in the opposite directions and the pur purpose of that is to render a lot of strength to bone. Well, I hope that helps you and uh, enjoy. Bye.